Hey everyone, it's Tracy, and today um, for this video, I'm just going to be showing how to install a font on my MacBook uh, computer laptop. Um, I have been doing some videos recently that I've been linking to a free font and <clears throat> um, you know, telling you that you can download it. Well, I've been getting some messages, some emails, and maybe some comments to say, How do I install a font? And so um, I thought that I would do just a quick video to show you um, are someone who may be searching for how to install a font from start to finish. Okay, this is my favorite uh, website to go to. It's called defont.com and <clears throat> it is mostly um, all free fonts. It has anything from, you can see here are the categories fancy, foreign, techno, um, gothic, basic, script, dingbats, and they also have holiday. And <clears throat> when you uh, type in defont.com, um, they will always change the recently added fonts. So there's, these are all going to be different, but don't worry about that. You can scroll through here, or you can click on the um, little categories here and so I'm just going to click on the cartoon because that is my favorite um, I like the the big bulky you know chunky fonts and so you can kind of scroll through here and uh, click on some of the fonts that you may like to see and you're like oh that's a cute, cute one uh, really you know the sky's the limit when it comes to downloading fonts you know I sometimes go a little bit font crazy uh, only because so many of them I'm like oh my gosh I've got to have that one you know to do projects and now that I can uh, we can use our fonts in our Cricut design space makes it uh, a whole lot you know more fun okay you can look through here to see the fonts that you may like and you know find one that that you want to download now um, another thing that I want to call to your attention is if you look here on this side uh, it says free for personal use and like this one right here it says two font files what that means is there's two types of um, usually a bold or um, a bubbly or something like that. There's two different fonts that will download in in the like the zip file that you're gonna get. So to see what those are, you just click on the font name itself, and it will pull open the actual font. And so you can see this one is dark or bolded, and this one is not quite as bold. Okay. So you can download from here. You can also donate to the author if you would like to do so. It's not mandatory, but it's something if you would like to do that. So you can just go through here and just look at all of the different fonts that they have. They even have this one it looks like the Brady Bunch. Um, it's just every time I get on here, I can like spend a whole evening just looking through here and just downloading tons and tons of fonts am I gonna use them all probably not but they're fun and it makes it fun um, to go through so anyway so what I wanted to uh, do here for you is actually download one so that you can see exactly how I did it now if you're working on a PC a Microsoft you might have to research a little bit different. Like I said, I'm working on a Mac here. Okay, so I'm here and I clicked on Fancy uh, Curly. And so I have that one open. And you can see here that um, these are all fun fonts. Now, I wanted to show you, this is another one, this Janda Curly Girl. Uh, you can see here it says three font files, so it's like, hmm, let's see what that is. So you click on the actual font, and it will give you this one. It will give you this one that has these lines, and then this one's more open. Um, and then if you scroll down a little bit farther, you can actually see what the actual alphabet is going to look like. 
when you have the actual letters installed on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and download this one because I don't have it. So I'm going to hit the download button. And what it does for my Mac, it actually puts it down here. It downloads it in a zip file. So I can double click on this right here. Yours might be set up a little bit differently, but that's how I have mine set up. I can click on my downloads folder. I can actually go into my finder and click on my downloads folder here. But usually I just keep things really, really simple and I just click on my folder. It opens up my download folder. Usually the very latest one that I have is on top. Um, it downloads it in a zip file and a zip file is kind of like if you think of a jacket. Um, if you you know put your jacket on and it keeps everything safe, safe and snug and you zip it up and then when you get to where you need to be if you unzip your jacket and take it off that's exactly what a zip file does so I'm going to double click on the Janda um, Janda curly girl now what you're looking for are the dot TTF files and TTF stands for true type font and so what I'll do is is I have the three fonts that I'm going to install they were all in the one um, in one little package so if I double click on it it will open up this box and right here it says install font so I'm going to click on install font and then here you go you'll see that one and it is in my font book font book I go back to Jada curly uh, curly girl pop dot TTF another one this is the one that is more open if I hit install font and installs that one it'll show you it'll pop up here in the in the window and then the third one is the uh, Janda curly girl serif dot TTF and then this one so now if I close out of that it will if I go over to my font book and I go to Janda Curly Girl. It has all three of them. If I click on it, it's going to show the different fonts that I have for the Janda Curly Girl. And so then if I want to use it in my Cricut Design Space, I will go to my Cricut Design Space. Okay, so I'm here in Cricut Design Space, so I'm going to go to Add Text, and <clears throat> I'm just going to type my name, okay, and <clears throat> Cricut Alphabet is the is the uh, default, so I'm going to come over here on the right hand side and, and click the drop down, and I can scroll through and I can find it, or I can, t uh, you see where this little, it's little cursor is blinking. I can type in J A N, whoops, J A N, and all three of my Janda Curly Girl Chunky fonts pop up. And then I can use it here in my Cricut Sign Space. Just like that. And if I want to change it, ooh, I like that. That looks like it has like a shadow. And then that one is, is more open. It has little lines. So anyway. Okay, there you go. I hope that this was helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate your comments so much. And we will see you soon. If you have any other questions or if there's something I can help you with, please don't hesitate to um, leave me a comment or send me a message. And we'll see you soon. Bye.